hello guys good morning welcome to my channel chemical diary in this video i am going to teach you about the sulfur recovery unit by modified clause process this is one of the important unit in petrochemical and petroleum in refining industries and you might have seen there are many jobs regarding sulfur recovery unit so i am going to teach you about this unit so before going to learn about the unit uh, I would like to explain you about the what is the main purpose to set up this unit. The main purpose is to reduce the amount of hydrogen sulfide in the atmosphere. For, for example, uh, in any company, any industries, uh, by pollution board, they have a given standard that only 10 ppm of hydrogen sulfide can be released in atmosphere. So if the tail gas has uh, hydrogen sulfide content more than 10 ppm, so we have to remove the, uh, we have to process this hydrogen sulfide. So we cannot send directly this hydrogen sulfide gas into the uh, atmosphere. So that is why for this reason we set up, we have to set up the plant sulfur recovery unit. Because if hydrogen sulfide burn in the uh, tail gas, then the resultant gas will be sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide gas is very poisonous and dangerous and harmful for the environment. So that is why we have to we have to process this hydrogen sulfide gas. Uh, so for this reason, sulfur recovery unit plant has been set up. In sulfur recovery unit, we send hydrogen sulfide gas and we recover sulfur from this. So. Uh, the raw material for the sulfur recovery plant is hydrogen sulfide and air and the product is sulfur liquid sulfur molten sulfur or you can say solid sulfur by further processing so let's go for the unit and uh, raw material you can see that uh, here uh, raw material is main air and another th thing sour gas sour gas uh, mainly contain hydrogen sulfide so the raw material is hydrogen sulfide and sour gas and fuel gas is used when temperature of the furnace is low and for heating the furnace uh, initial heating of the furnace after that uh, fuel gas does not uh, there is no need of fuel gas because the this reaction release large amount of heat so we, we don't need fuel gas once the reaction of uh, sulfur firing have been started so we don't need fuel gas later if the furnace temperature reduces or we take any type of shutdown at that time we need fuel gas later we don't need so equipment we use in this uh, sulfur recovery unit first i will tell you about the sul equipment then we will go for the process okay uh, we use uh, equipment process air filter for process air fan process air fan or air blower and this is the air preheater and this is hydrogen sulfide gas preheater and this is sour ga uh, gas knockout drum and this is also sour gas knockout drum from SWS unit and this is sour gas hydrogen sulfide gas knockout drum from ARU amine regeneration unit and this is this is equipment is called BMS burner management system in which uh, air and uh, air and fuel and uh, hydrogen sulfide ratio is mixed and burn into the furnace and this is the reaction furnace and this is the waste heat boiler and this is steam drum and this is condenser and this is also condenser and this is heater or preheater and this is cross catalytic reactor which contain alumina and titanium and this is preheater this is cross reactor and this is condenser and this is steel gas treating unit and this is uh, sulfur pit and from here uh, it will go to the degassing section so these are about the equipment and now we will go for the heat heating uh, heat heating method uh, we uh, we reheat the method by two two method one is direct and indirect for example indirect is that uh, here air is going air will go from preheater and will go to the furnace so it is an indirect method because in coil in coil steam will go and uh, in shell air will go so air is does not mix with uh, uh, steam so it is indirect method whereas direct method is uh, this uh, fuel which which directly mixes with air to combust 
and hydrogen sulfide which uh, which directly mix with air to combust so this is a direct method so in direct method we use steam hot gas and uh, by means of electric uh, electric current and fuel uh, and fuel gas and gas gas heat exchanger and uh, steam and boiler feed water so these are the thing we use for indirect method whereas for direct method we use acid gases and fuel gases so this was about the direct method and indirect method and uh, the uh, another thing is that close reactor in close reactor we have a we use catalyst to convert the uh, remaining hydrogen sulfide to sulfur uh, elemental sulfur so this is how uh, catalytic reactor and in top bed alumina will be there and in bottom titania will be there so this is about the equipment we use now let's go for the process first of all we get sour gas hydrogen uh, sour gas contain hydrogen sulfide mainly and sour gas which is from amine regeneration unit and sour gas from sour water stripper mainly contain hydrogen sulfide and some amount of ammonia and uh, methane or carbon like this so we get hydrogen sulfide and uh, at starting the hydrogen sulfide will come to the knockout drum in knockout drum what will happen here whatever the liquid can it will get it it get knocks here and uh, whatever the knock liquid will be condensed and will be sent back to the sour water stripper unit and here also in a, from the sour gas come from the amine regeneration unit so whatever the liquid present in hydrogen sulfide gas will get knock or throttled by here and it will and liquid condensate will go will be sent to the plant which uh, amine regeneration plant so gas which is free from liquid will go to the uh, hydrogen sulfide preheater so before sending the gas to the reaction furnace we preheat the gas so the temperature before the preheater will be around 90 degree to 80 degree so after after heating this uh, hydrogen sulfide gas temperature will raise to 40 degree and uh, here also ambient air uh, air the ambient air temperature will be around 40 degree or 50 degree depending upon the temperature of the atmosphere so the air temperature will be for 40 or 50 degree so after the blower then we heat the temperature up to 240 degree by in air preheater so in air preheater uh, the, it will be a shell and from which air will go and we will have one uh, here steam coil steam will go from here and uh, steam steam will will heat the air so the resultant air temperature will be 240 and uh, resultant uh, hydrogen sulfide gas temperature will be 240 so from here the air will go to the bms and hydrogen sulfide gas will to go to the bms in bms the inside there will be atomizer and uh, regulating walls which regulate the ratio of air and hydrogen sulfide then uh, mix uh, well and here uh, so sulfur firing take place hydrogen, uh, in which hydrogen, uh, hydrogen sulfide combustion take place the furnace temperature will be 1300 to 1450 we maintain the furnace temperature 1300 to 1450 so that uh, hydrogen sulfide uh, get combust easily at low temperature we cannot uh, split uh, we cannot decompose the hydrogen sulfide uh, we cannot decompose the hydrogen sulfide so that is why we have to maintain the temperature of the furnace 300 to 450 so that hydrogen sulfide will get decomposed easily so uh, when hydrogen sulfide and air mix and reaction take place hydrogen sulfide turns to sulfur dioxide and water hydrogen react with uh, you know that air will have oxygen nitrogen and inert gases so oxygen react with hydrogen to form h2o whereas uh, uh, in hydrogen sulfide sulfur is there so sulfur react with uh, oxygen to form sulfur dioxide so the reaction uh, in the furnace are close reaction which take place in the furnace hydrogen sulfide plus o2 two hydrogen two moles of hydrogen sulfide three moles of o2 give uh, two moles of sulfur dioxide plus water so 
in furnace uh, we get sulfur dioxide and water and uh, and after that uh, hydrogen sulfide react with sulfur dioxide to give sulfur vapor and water so this reaction take place in the furnace so as i told you that in furnace we maintain temperature up to up to 1300 to 1450 so uh, the temperature is very high so, uh, we have to condense the sulfur which form in this so the high temperature we have to reduce so we we send this uh, uh, temperature high temperature gas to waste heat boiler so in waste heat boiler uh, steam is generated boiler feed water will go to the steam drum and from here steam drum water will go to the waste heat boiler and the gas which has temperature up to 1300 and 1450 will will quench down or cool down to 13 that cool down to 300 degree and here is uh, steam is generated by by this exothermic heat by by this uh, when heat release from this uh, sulfur uh, uh, when heat release from the hydrogen sulfide decomposition so we get this uh, uh, large amount of heat so this heat is used to produce the steam and this steam is used in preheater and uh, boiler fuel water is used in condenser and this uh, uh, steam is in preheater and this steam is also used in for maintaining the temperature or uh, in the sulfur pit in sulfur pit we we keep this uh, steam we supply continuous steam so that sulfur should not get solidified so the steam is uh, utilized here and steam also used in air preheater and sour gas preheater so this is the purpose of steam we use here st uh, the, the st steam is produced as a high pressure steam so high pressure to use in the cond condenser so that is why for this reason uh, we we have to uh, we we, uh, we, uh, we have to reduce this uh, pressure high pressure steam into uh, low pressure steam so that uh, uh, low pressure steam so that we can send this to the another uh, uh, another reactors we cannot send high pressure steam to this condenser or preheater because uh, the the heater is designed for low pressure steam not for high and it does not require that much of it so that is why we uh, after getting uh, this high pressure steam we send this gas to the another uh, uh, controller which is called steam reducing section or pressure reducing section in which high pressure steam pressure is reduced to medium pressure steam so after that uh, medium pressure steam and uh, uh, will change to low pressure steam in pressure reducing state so here here in heater high pressure uh, mid, low pressure steam is used whereas in condenser uh, boiler feed water is used so now let's go for the process so here uh, the gas uh, gas that which is turned to uh, uh, after hydrogen sulfide which turns to sulfur dioxide and water vapor and sulfur so from here the gas temperature will be 300 so the process gas will come here and in condenser say up about around 60 percent to 70 percent of sulfur get condensed so condensed sulfur will be collected in the uh, in the sulfur collection pit or sulfur pit and the remaining process gas which does not which does not collected uh, which does not transform into sulfur will go to the uh, will go to the close reactor for further processing or further removal of sulfur uh, sulfur elemental sulfur so in close reactor uh, the in class reactor we will have a catalyst alumina and titania so if we send this 160 degree uh, in this so there will be plugging of sulfur so we, we do not want to plug the reactor so so that is why we preheat the uh, process gas so the process gas will be preheated to, uh, up to 230 degree in preheater steam is used uh, in shell and for steam is used in tube and from shell uh, process gas will go so the process gas uh, from 162 it will heat it to 230 degree <coughs> after that 230 degree uh, pro temperature process gas will go to the close reactor in close reactor uh, the remaining sulfur dioxide will react with uh, hydrogen uh, sulfur dioxide and remaining hydrogen sulfide gas react to form elemental sulfur so in the in the in the in means of sulfur vapor 
say sulfur vapor are generated so sulfur in vapor form will come to the condenser and in condenser um, the sul element of sulfur will get condensed because here the temperature will be around 140 to 150 degree so the vapor will get condensed and uh, around 80 percent to 80 to 80 percent sulfur will get collected into the sulfur pit so the remaining process gas will again go to the uh, cl another close reactor catalytic reactor so in another class catalytic reactor before sending to the uh, catalytic reactor we again preheat the gas because i told you that if you do not preheat the gas then uh, there there will be a chances of sulfur plugging in the reactor so for this re uh, reason we send the gas to the preheater in preheater uh, from shell process gas will go and in tube steam will go so this steam will uh, preheat the uh, process gas to uh, from 152 it will preheat to 225 so after that it goes to close reactor and again in close reactor the remaining so2 hydrogen sulfide will convert it to elemental sulfur so up around 90 percent of uh, we get into this reactor so after that whatever the elemental sulfur which turn into vapor will get collected in the, into the condenser after that the remaining gas will go to the uh, this uh, tail gas treating unit in tail gas treating unit we cannot we will not send the gas uh, or uh, to tail gas un unit directly because the temperature of the process gas will be around 132 140 degree so so before tail gas treating unit we have uh, air preheater in which uh, we preheat the uh, this uh, remaining gas process gas uh, so that uh, uh, there should not be a sulfur plugging in the tail gas treating unit so uh, if we have uh, it, it depend upon the uh, upon the quantity of the hydrogen sulfide if large quantity is there then we will have two to three cross reactor and uh, for your kind information if we have three class reactor then we will have four condenser if we have two class reactor then we will have three condenser because we have one condenser before the class reactor so this is how we uh, we recover sulfur from the hydrogen sulfide gas so from this condenser we recover sulfur in sulfur pit and from this condenser also we get sulfur here from this also we get so we collect sulfur in the sulfur pit but you know that in sulfur pit we uh, we will have uh, some amount of hydrogen sulfide which come along with sulfur so we have to remove this sulfur so for this uh, to remove this hydrogen sulfide we send this gas to the we, uh, we send this sulfur to the degassing section in degassing section there will be a column in which from top sulfur is spread and from bottom air will go then uh, bubbling will take place so when air contact with hydrogen sulfide and uh, in that uh, packing will be there so what happened there that uh, whatever the hydrogen sulfide will get uh, separated and uh, sulfur which is free from hydrogen sulfide which is d gas will be collected in another container and uh, that that uh, sulfur which is free free from gases will send to the for further processing for solidification for prilling or pelletization or for a powder form for of uh, other unit so this is how we remove the sulfur uh, this is how we remove the sulfur from the hydrogen sulfide gas and after that uh, we send this to degassing section so this is about the hydrogen sulfide sulfur recovery unit siu this is one of the important topic and uh, uh, this unit will provide you many jobs so i have explained you now uh, i gave you the overview now i'm going to about the temperatures before sending the gas to the reaction furnace the hydrogen sulfide gas temperature will be preheated to 240 and air also preheated to 240 and in furnace we maintain temperature of 300 to 1450 and after waste heat boiler we maintain the temperature uh, uh, after which is boiled the process gas temperature will be around 300 and uh, af uh, and after that uh, it get condensed and the after condenser the temperature will be 160 and after condenser it go to preheater then temperature will be 230 and after to uh, after the ga process gas will go to the close reactor which has catalyst alumina and titania so the temperature will be increases to 280 because it is exothermic reaction it releases heat 
after that it goes to condenser and temperature will reduce to 140 to 150 so again uh, 140 to 150 degree temperature process gas will go to preheater and it uh, preheated temperature will be around 225 again it go to 225 so the resultant temperature will be 240 and again it will reduce us to 130 to 140 so this for the bottom about the temperature and the process now i am going to show you about the reaction which take place in the sulfur recovery unit Close reaction this is a furnace section 2, two moles of hydrogen sulfide plus uh, 3 moles of oxygen react uh, to form sulfur dioxide and water this is a highly exothermic reaction whereas 2 moles of hydrogen sulfide plus sulfur dioxide 1 mole of sulfur dioxide give rise to elemental sulfur vapor plus water so and this is the catalyst reaction which take place in close reactor 2 moles of hydrogen sulfide plus SO2 give rise to sulfur vapor plus H2O this is a moderately exothermic reaction and side reaction which take place for example the hydrogen sulfide gas uh, or sour gas and sour gas from ammonia degeneration unit sour gas from sulfur recovery unit contain uh, trace uh, ammonia carbon dioxide carbon disulfide and sulfur uh, vapor form so so when this uh, uh, component react with water what it becomes so these are the reaction cos plus uh, 3 by 2 o2 give rise to so2 plus co2 whereas cs2 plus 3 o2 give rise to 2 so2 plus co2 whereas sulfur plus oxygen give rise to sulfur dioxide so this is about the reaction and this is about the process so for this reason we are uh, for this uh, reason we maintain uh, exact amount of air and if we maintain high amount of air excess air so, so we we do not we do, we do not get uh, elemental sulfur because uh, to get the sulfur in elemental form we need to supply proper air uh, limited air uh, and uh, the air ratio we have to maintain the air ratio so this was about the cross reaction and now i am going to teach you about that uh, uh, how much percent of uh, sulfur is required in furnace uh, we get uh, uh, we have to mention main, maintain 2 is to 4 ratio and 75 percent of sulfur is recovered in furnace and remaining uh, 25 percent sulfur we recover by close reactor and uh, I would like to explain you about the ca catalyst the catalyst used in this is alumina and titania and uh, we have to preheat the gas which is going to the catalyst if we maintain the temperature of the process gas lower uh, in the catalytic reactor uh, in catalytic reactor so solidification will take place and catalyst degradation take place catalyst degradation take place by thermal aging and normal aging and btex poisoning and methanol poisoning sulfation sulfation is nothing but liquid sulfur deposition and hydrothermal aging and disinfectant so this was about the catalyst so after this after once sulfur is recovered in the sulfur pit it's sent to degassing section and from degassing section sulfur will go to the uh, for either it will go for solidification either it will go for uh, powder formation either it will go for pellet formation or pelletization or pilling tower or the, uh, depending upon the product requirement the sulfur uh, is sent to the different types of unit if you have any doubt